This is tutorial number 54, and it covers how to do multiple multi-section solid bodies within CATIA v5. To start off, open up a new CATIA v5 part file, and just like the last tutorial, we're going to be using the multi-section solid. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do multiple ones of these. In the first tutorial, we did a basic one, so it was just two planes, two sketches, and putting them together. In this tutorial, I'm going to take uh, four reference planes, four sketches and put four of them all together to create one solid. So the first thing we have to do is go to the generative shape design. So click start, click shape and go to the generative shape design and we're going to offset some planes. So let's click the XY, click plane and we'll offset them 200 millimeters from each other. Click OK and then the following plane that we just made offset another one 200 millimeters from that and we'll do one more. So now we have four planes that are all facing the same direction all together. So we're going to use these four planes to make four sketches to bring them all together. So now let's go back to the mechanical design and the part design. Now let's uh, just draw circles and slowly we're going to put these circles together. So let's click the XY plane, click sketch, and in the middle let's draw a circle and we'll dimension it, we'll dimension this one at 100 and we'll go back, we'll do the next plane click sketch, we'll draw a circle and we'll dimension this one to 200 and we'll go back, we'll do this uh, plane here, the next one, we'll make this one and dimension it to 80 and we'll go back up and then we'll do the last plane here from the center again and we'll dimension this one to 50 and we'll go back. So now we have uh, four sketches and we're going to put all these guys together. So let's click the multi-section solid and to do this it's the best idea all the time to do it in order of how they go. So we're going to click this guy, this guy, this guy, and then this guy. Click preview, and we get a preview of the four of them coming together. Click OK, and now we have our part. Now again, we're able to go in. So if we open the part body and open the multi-section, we can go in and change some of the diameters. So for the second sketch, Let's make this a little bit bigger. Let's make it 300. Click OK. Click Accept. And now it's going to rebuild everything and make it to 300, just like that. Now, again, like the other one, we don't have to use just circles. We can use uh, other shapes too. So let's go and let's change each of these sketches individually. So let's uh, change the first one. We'll click it and we'll turn it into a square. So just draw. Just draw any kind of square, go back. Now it's not going to let you create it because there's going to be a problem going from a square to a circle as a transition. Uh, just close it, don't worry. Go to the next sketch, delete it, and create a thinner rectangle. Go back, and again you're going to have a problem. Don't worry about these, we're going to just go through and change the remaining two sketches. So we'll delete this one here and create another square again. And again, a problem. So let's change the last one. Delete it and make a thin rectangle again. And go back up. And now we don't have a problem because we have the four squares coming together. And you can see our transition as we went from a square to a thin rectangle to a square back to the thin rectangle. So this is exactly the same how we were using the basic, but this time we're using uh, multiple uh, sketches compared to two. We're using four in this case, and you can use as many as you want. So you can have all of these uh, profiles on all these different uh, planes, and you can slowly build a profile uh, of whatever the object may be. So slowly as you go, say, in increments of 200 millimeters, the profile is going to change each time. 
So you can slowly bring it in, taper it in, do whatever you need to do to it, and bring it together to make your solid. So this concludes our tutorial on how to do multiple multi-section solids within CATIA V5.